Young girls should not have to run for their lives, ever. The EP Fusion soccer team experienced unimaginable pain on August 3rd as a gunman opened fire on their fundraiser outside the Sierra Vista Walmart. ABC 7's Mauricio Casillas and photojournalist Jesus Rodriguez show us how the girls just finished their season against all odds. Those who perished and their families will not be forgotten. 22 columns of light, one for each person who should still be here. A sobering reminder of the suffering that struck our binational community. One of these columns is for Jorge Calvillo Garcia. He was supporting his son Luis, the coach of the EP Fusion youth team, when shots rang. I remember everything from the moment I got shot to the moment I got to the hospital. This right here is the spot where everything changed for Luis Calvillo. He was fundraising with the EP Fusion girls soccer team. They were selling aguas frescas and he went live on Facebook moments before the shooting took place. Say hello girls. And I turned around and I saw him. It's um, uh, I, I, I wish I would have saw him before. That way I could have taken a different approach and maybe saved lives. And on the day the Walmart Memorial was unveiled, Calvillo and his team were focused on life. Ten fusion players were there the day of the shooting, each of them escaping without injuries, but forever affected. Despite their coach being shot five times and spending more than two months in the hospital, the team made it all the way to the championship game. Let's go, loud. Job. Their escape, yes. the beautiful game. Get a player! Don't let it bounce, Karina. Drop back! Drop back! The team goes into halftime trailing by one goal. The girls are frustrated, but their coach knows them. Get your heads up. Get your heads up. Okay? I know you guys are nervous. He eases the tension, and soon the girls are loose and laughing. Hey, what's up, Mia? <laughs> it's contagious, right? <laughs> As the second half dwindles down, the Fusion have a chance. But that joy quickly turns to nerves as the game okay. goes to penalties. This is our moment. This is where we show who we are. We already showed them. Okay? Let's go ahead and go out for the championship. All right? On the last penalty kick, the team comes up just short. Great job. Great job. Hey, no, don't, 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 don't get your head down. Don't get your head down. Hey, we got all the way to penalty kicks. Hey, get your heads up. Come on. Without realizing it, these girls and their love for soccer gave strength to so many. They've gone through so much, and I wish as adults we were all as resilient as they are. They fought through it. This was their therapy, and they made it this far. I, I couldn't be prouder of them. Jessica Garcia still spends much of her time in the hospital. Her husband, Memo, is the only victim from the shooting who remains hospitalized. He doesn't like me to leave very much, but right before I left, I said, hey, babe, I'm going to go because Karina's playing the championship game. His eyes lit up, and I said, is there anything you want, to, you want me to tell her? And he threw a kiss, and I said, you want me to wish her good luck? And he said yes. So once again, the girls wipe away their tears and begin to smile. Even though we weren't able to pull off the first place, we're always going to be first place in our hearts. This was really special to me because because of what happened, we still kept playing. We weren't that type of people that would just give up and stop playing. After the game, Coach Calvillo takes a moment to reflect. You saw me. I didn't, I didn't sit down for a second. Uh, until now, I'm very tired. Uh, my leg is hurting a lot, but just seeing them fight, why would I going kind to of stand down? when they were fighting. Also in his mind, the one fan who didn't make it. Who taught you to love the game of soccer? My dad. My dad, uh, ever since I was a kid, he, he showed me the respect for the fields and the respect for the opponent and the respect for, for the game. Do you think he was looking down? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, he was here. He was here, he was proud. And on his arm, a tattoo of the team's logo as inspiration. It gives me the strength to go ahead and continue with my therapies and, and keep fighting. I mean, it's always gonna be there, you know. The bullet holes are always gonna be there, the scars, 
So this has to be there as well. A loss has never felt so much like a win for the team that had a second chance at life. Mauricio Casillas, ABC7. Absolutely a win. The girls still plan on playing together next season. Coach Calvillo says while he still feels a lot of pain in his leg, he's thankful to keep doing what he does and will continue to lead his team on the sidelines.